evening and all. Thought I'd do a, a Saturday evening vlog. So cheers, ice cold out the fridge and well deserved. In my opinion, of course. Now, a bit of a productive day today. What do you mean by productive? Well, I've put a curtain pole in the spare bedroom. This curtain pole comes in two halves made of wood and you have to put the two poles together in the center, get it right, and then try and put it up on the wall level on your own. <laughs> Let's say there was a few um, blue words used. So, <laughs> but um, I bought a new drill last year, Makita. It was on offer in B&Q. And uh, £99 for an 18 volt cordless Makita drill with two batteries and a case of drill bits and all that sort of stuff and I must say when you pay because there's a good firm good make and you can tell the difference when you're drilling you know uh, the difference of having a good drill and drill bit uh, you know it makes a hell of a difference so that was one job done today tomorrow is Sunday and uh, normally, if I'm home, I'll do Sunday dinner, and it'll be ready for about 12, half past 12, lunchtime. But tomorrow, I think the missus is going with her sister at some point, so I said I may go for a walk and do my Sunday dinner, because I enjoy cooking, uh, when I get back and have it for about 5 or 6 o'clock. And that's the normal time I have a main meal when I'm working. I have it, um, what we call tea time, which is five o'clock, you know, six o'clock. So that's what I'll do tomorrow with that. If I do this walk, weather permitting and all that sort of stuff. So I'll charge the batteries on this. It'll probably probably be, I've never only had one, a D, L. It'll probably be, oh, I said it then. Um, a handheld job again because we're having severe winds here at the minute nothing compared to Scotland I know that but um, we are having severe winds high winds and cameras tripods and wind don't mix for me uh, just ask Graham you'll know what I mean <laughs> uh, so if I do go it'll be a handheld job and uh, Similar to the Johnny Mons walk, probably. Because I enjoy doing that. I absolutely enjoy doing that. Just as it is. It was good. They're going down lovely. And in a minute, I've got in the oven, which has just gone off, I think, yeah. A field mushroom with Wensleydale cheese in it, melted. A bit of garlic and covered in breadcrumbs and then you put in the oven till the breadcrumbs go golden brown oh beautiful nice little snack but um so i'll have that when i've finished this vlog and wash down with these well deserved as i said so i hope you've all had a good week and just been watching uh Graham's mental video from today and a few of his GoPro style uh, point of view shots good little camera that um, ideal somewhere like the morgue in the mental because it's so such a narrow space small space it's uh, gives you the wide angle it's good so um, enjoyed them uh, what else was there Oh, I've been watching a, a programme because I never knew Ray Mears had been filming in Snowdonia. And he had. He must have been there last year. And it came out, was it October? November? Last year. 
And um, he he was in Cumidwell. Uh, he was on the banks of Snowdon. He went to the peak, you know, to the summit. Um, Arwydda. And there's a special, unique lily found. It's called the Snowdon lily. Very, very small. It can only be found in a few spots within Snowdonia. And... Of course, not gonna die. Not gonna say where the locations are, but um, it's the only one found in this country. It's the only place it grows, and it's been growing there for ten thousand years. Um, fantastic that and how things survive like that. And Cumidwell, the lake there, is a glacial lake which was formed in the Ice Age, obviously in. Uh, fantastic and Charles Darwin visited there many times and there's rocks there named after him called the Charles Darwin Rocks or the Darwin Rocks or something and he even made a brew with his uh, um, little sort of stainless steel uh, BCB not BCB is it? it could be his stainless steel mug which I've got upstairs actually I got one of them upstairs with a stainless steel lid which I bought off his website because uh, he's the only one that sells the stainless steel lids for those military type cups because you can put them in the fire, you can put them on a stove um, especially when you're camping, good good equipment lasts you for years if you look after it yeah so that's uh, what's happening today uh, nothing else I don't think so I'll do this vlog, I'm going to enjoy my mushroom <laughs> and hopefully do a little walk tomorrow which I will film and put up I might even do a Sunday vlog, see how it goes, see what the time's like so I hope you've had a good, as I say, good week I hope you enjoy your weekend and I will speak to you soon